you are about to embark upon the truth. I shall take you a step further into the world of true right knowledge, right wisdom, and the right overstanding. For many years, humans have pondered about the evolution of the inhabitants of the planet Earth. The question was in the minds of humans as to where each species and each life form evolved. You must learn of the evolutionary process. This will give you great knowledge of that which is right and exact and right wisdom, right overstanding and sound, right reasoning of how and where the nine ether versus the six ethers came about. Now, let us begin by learning of a time before when a large craft from the Ninga fleet, thought to be a meteorite, crashed into the planet, shearing off the lower half of it. That was 24 billion years ago. This caused the development of Earth's shape and form as you know it today, bringing with it new kinds of life forms, some to make residence beneath the seas of what is called Bimini today, where a great empire of reptilians thrives even unto this day. This empire is located in the Atlantic Ocean, in the area called the Bermuda Triangle, or Angel's Triangle. Other life forms took shape on the surface of the Earth. It was gases and electrical sparks that formed the complex molecules from the simple ones originally planted here some 76 trillion years ago. For billions of years, life continued to consist of no more than simple cells, yet with intelligence. As time passed, more complicated cells were born, and these cells gradually became even more complicated cells, which were giving birth until they eventually combined with each other, or married, to give birth to even larger organisms. The more complicated an organism, such as an algae, the larger its brain is. Thus the more intelligent it became. These living organisms evolved out of the water, through the ammonia and onto the soil. Millions of years after that, the next group of animals developed called metazoans. Their bodies were composed of specialized cells grouped to form tissues, organs and systems, much like the animals of today. These animals multiplied and diversified and over a period of 19 million years, evolved into man, many types of animals, and dragons called terrible lizards, or simply dinosaurs. This was the first evolution of life on the planet Earth. These inhabitants went through many changes, such as the Ice Age glaciers, volcanoes, and earthquakes. During this time, there were also problems with the dinosaurs and humans. The evolution of the dinosaurs and humans was imbalanced to the point that the dinosaurs were much bigger than humans, and they were killing them off. These humans were of the Homo erectus species. They had six ether hair covering most of their bodies. Dinosaurs are classified, or divided into separate groups, one being the Saurischia, lizard hips. He's a four-legged, plant-eating dinosaur and can also be a meat-eating dinosaur, and the other being Ornithischia, bird hip. This group of dinosaurs is your two-legged plant eaters and all of your armoured dinosaurs. In your Ornithischia, the forward pointing bone has swung around in order that it can point backwards and forwards. And Saurischia have hip bones that are found within reptiles. These three bones point in different directions. These two names are in reference to the arrangement of three bones of the pelvis. In the Sauricea, these bones were arranged similar to that of modern crocodiles and lizards. These are your tannin, while the pelvis of the Ornithischia was bird-like. Therefore, humans developed from a one-celled animal, which developed into a water creature. And these humans are tadpoles, or reptilians, for the first three months in their mother's womb. This is why humans still have webbed hands, gills and scales. In their own evolution, with the help of their mammalian parent, they become the root seed of mammals, later called the human being. In its primeval state, 
They climbed upon the landmass and developed into land creatures, and then to genus Homo, on to Homo erectus. And these land creatures that were once tadpoles or reptilians grew while in their mother's womb, from three months plus three months more. During that period, they were connected to an umbilical cord, umbilicus, or navel, that is on the abdomen of the fetus and is connected to the placenta. This mark on the surface of the abdomen of mammals who once dwelt in a marina or water is where the umbilical cord, also called umbilicus, was. This central point, or middle, is attached during the gestation. The very word navel comes from the Middle English word nephela and is the same as the Aramic Hebrew word nephela, nephelium, to fall down, which is the same word. It's in the phonetics of the language. It is a clear picture in these days and times that the words navy, navel, navel, and marina tie in. This is a confession that man was a tadpole and was considered a sea creature. Life forms that evolved from the sea were water vertebrates. They did not appear until 500 million years ago and land vertebrates followed about 100 million years ago. About 225 million years ago, there were fish in the waters as well as sea plants. Most amphibians had made the transition from water to dry land. The plants on the dry land attracted the amphibians to evolve into reptiles. The dolphin as a whale went from the stars to this planet in the sea, then on to land, then back into the sea as a whale. Crocodiles are a remnant of that evolutionary phase also. From about 225 million years ago to 65 million years ago, which is the period of time often referred to as the dinosaur age, evolved two main lines of egg-laying reptilians. Those who could fly, which evolved into birds, like the pterodactyls from the Greek pterot, meaning feather, wing, and dactylos from the Greek for finger, and those who roamed and dominated the planet Earth as dinosaurs called the Tyrannosaurus rex, tyrant reptile, or terrible lizards. These reptiles evolved alongside with a variety of amphibians and water lizards away from the oceans and their water life, which was full of activity. When humans came out of water, your evolution jumped billions of years. When humans crawled on land, they were in the form of what looked like crocodiles. If you examine the back or the spinal columns of humans, you can see knots up and down the spinal column. Millions of years ago, it was a fin. This fin, or sail, was used to conduct heat and regulate heat, and the body had to mutate. Behemoth, mankind to this day, still has, at the end of his spinal column, an extension called a coccyx, that is a tail, as well as wings under the arms and webbed hands. This human developed from what you would call a dinosaur today. This dinosaur was called Dimetrodon. It got its name from it, having that which is unique, that being two sets of teeth. No other animal had two sets of teeth. The Dimetrodon lived about 60, 300 hundred million years ago, which means that it lived at the end of the Paleozoic era. Dimetrodon was a large meat-eating reptile, which measured some 10 to 12 feet from nose to tail and 5 feet in height, which explains why many humans have a craving for flesh. When Dimetrodon, who was of the Paleozoic era, ruled, this deadly creature roamed the valley before the dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era. The Dimetrodon was the first to ever inhabit the land. It was a warm-blooded reptile. Dimetrodon is a deadly reptile known for the enormous sail on its back. This sail was used for the purpose of regulating body heat. By turning the sail to face the sun, the Dimetrodon was able to warm up much more quickly in about a little less than an hour, which allowed the Dimetrodon more time to hunt. A reptile can't stay active if it is too hot. However, without the heat, Reptiles become more sluggish, still and helpless. 
but mammals can regulate the heat of their bodies because they are warm-blooded. Dimetrodon is not an ordinary reptile. The resemblance between human and Dimetrodon was the teeth. Both human and Dimetrodon have two sets of teeth, which were the incisors, canines and different sized teeth behind the canines. This is only found on mammals. 360 million years before Dimetrodon, some creatures crawled out of the ocean, which were early amphibians. Within 20 million years, they split into two groups. One became the aggressive species, which were the diapsid, and the other one was the passive synapsid. They began to compete for supremacy. From generation to generation, each line improved and perfected itself. When the diapsids and synapsids moved further up the evolutionary chain, they began to split in different directions. The diapsids had two holes, two openings in the skull, which evolved into all modern reptilians, such as turtles, crocodiles, alligators, lizards, etc. While the synapsids had a single hole in the back of their skulls, which evolved into all proto-mammals, such as Dimetrodon, armadillo, whale, dogs, cows, human, and all other mammals that evolved in this line. The two holes allowed the skull not to squeeze the brain. Proto-mammals were changing from reptilian to mammalian and from a mammal-like reptilian posture. They took possession of the land masses for 50 million years and dominated the planet. Dimetrodon's first descendants were hot-blooded. This was a detour in evolution. They took steps from reptilian to mammalian. The dinosaurs started to take control and the proto-mammals began to disappear. In the Triassic period, 245,000 million years ago. Thus, larger, more vulnerable animals began a long conquest and pushed proto-mammals to the brink of extinction. The lizard-like Ophiacodon and the warm-blooded Dimetrodon reduced in size. Proto-mammals had to adapt to nightlife becoming nocturnal hunters. As proto-mammals began to mutate and evolute out of its present state, the size of their brain grew. During this time, extraterrestrials had leaped in and started breeding also. Although life evolved from the seas, all of it did not originate there. Some life forms crashed in the seas of Tiamat from the Maldek incident, particularly from the Ninga star fleet. They are being from another star constellation, and they lived under the seas of Tiamat. These other life forms were beings known as the Troglodytes, or Maldekians, which crashed down on Tiamat. One of the four Maldekian crafts, called the West Wind, crashed into the center of the planet Earth. These beings lived in the seas of Tiamat Earth for millions of years. Their home base is under the Bermuda Triangle. They set up kingdoms called Yams under the waters. The Maldekians developed into intelligent humanoids by abducting and mixing their seed with humans. This is where the reptilian-like dinosaurs came from. While on one hand, there was another set of extraterrestrial beings like the greys, from which some of the dinosaurs evolved from. These greys came from the star constellation Orion, the star constellations of Arcturus and Pleiades. Meanwhile, the reptilians ruled them from Rigel and Betelgeuse, Bellatrax, Mintaka, Alnilam and Alnitak in the Orion star constellation and Auriga in the Capella star formation. They were all in fear of the aggressive insect type extraterrestrial from Andromeda, many of which came down to this planet Earth. One of the common species of dinosaurs that evolved from the Ramadian seed of greys was the Hypsilophodon, who came out of the Jurassic period. They were called Hypsilophodon because of their high ridge teeth. The Hypsilophodon were herbivores. They only ate off plants and fruits, extracting the needed chlorine. 
The most common dinosaur that evolved from the reptilians were the Tyrannosaurus rex, meaning tyrant reptile or terrible lizard. It is 50 feet long and 20 feet in height and weighed 7 tons. It was the largest carnivore that ever walked the planet Tiamat Earth. This creature is known to be the king of the meat eaters. The Tyrannosaurus rex came out of the reptilians, making them part dinosaur and pan reptilian. Alongside the dinosaurs, you had the evolutionary humims. Amongst the different species of evolutionary humim, you have the Australopithecines. There were two forms of Australopithecines that could walk and were erect. Their brain was L33, the size of a modern human's brain. The smaller ones stood about 4 feet tall and weighed between 50 to 120 pounds. This was your original pygmy, Kishite and Hawilahite tribe, which your mother Holwa, Eve, came from. They had nine ether hair. The larger ones were seven feet and weighed 222 to 250 pounds. This was your original Watusi, Cuthite tribe which Cadman, Adam, came from. They had eight ether hair. They were the giants in the earth. All other humans had six ether hair as other animals of this planet Earth. Nine ether hair is a symbol of an extraterrestrial being. All animals and humans on this planet have six ether hair. Kadmon Zaka, also known as Adam, was also a mixture of Hindu, the original black man mixed with a shaggy, which is another set of beings that were coming to Earth from the Sirius star constellation. These shaggies were not your hairy Bigfoot creatures. They came from the planet Iduma, in the constellation of Sirius. Along with these shaggies, the greys also came from the same star constellation, from Zeta Reticuli, called Sirius B, for biological entity. The Ramadians, called greys, came from the planet Pleiades and Arcturus. When Nibiru passed by Sirius B, its presence drained the energy from the sun and caused this great star, Sirius B, to collapse. Sirius A had two planets. The Narians, an independent species of greys, were on one planet and the Numos, Nomos, Reptilians were on the other. Both planets rotated around Sirius A. So, when their sun died, the Narians followed Nibiru through the Milky Way. While in pursuit, these beings, the Reptilians, chased the Greys, the Rumadians who also lived on Sirius, because they wanted to rule over them and use them as slaves. Some of the Rumadians came down to the planet Earth from Zeta Reticuli. Both beings, the Nomus and the Rumadians, took residence on the planet Tiamat, Earth. When the Reptilians came, they tried to appeal to the Maldikians, Troglodytes, that were living in the seas from the crash down that happened years ago because they were of their seed. However, these Maldikians who lived beneath the seas of the planet Earth had a very violent nature. 